Hey, this is uh, Kevin again, uh, showing a Libyan, uh, or also could be Nubian, but Libyan army um, that was in the early Bronze Age. Uh, Libyan is kind of used here to include tribes that inherited the western uh, desert and steppes on the western edge of the Nile Valley, really gave... Um, Egypt a really hard time, but it stretched from the Mediterranean coast to Nubia, uh, the western oasis uh, that was furthest from the Egyptian outpost. But the Libyans were pretty much nomadic herdsmen, lived in leather tents, relied on hunting, gathering uh, cattle, goats. Um, the Egyptians encountered them many, many times, very, very large incursions of them as they were pushed uh, towards the east. Uh, their physical appearance can be all the way from Egyptian of brown skin to light skin coming from, from Europe and even dark skin from Southern Africa. So, you know, their forces uh, here that you see uh, were painted kind of a mix of lighter, more Egyptian to darker figures uh, fighting 15s. There's a couple of other uh, companies that are in here as well. But I really used this army uh, to play against the Egyptians, adding in uh, sea peoples or others, um, really kind of a fast-hitting, very heavy archer force. It was mostly infantry using throwing sticks, javelins, bows, um, and then by, you know, the late, or the new kingdom, Egyptian, they had already, you know, had a few chariots, um, but not really. They had some sea people auxiliaries, but if you look at, at the Battle of Perrier, they had the Egyptians had, had uncovered, you know, 9,000 copper swords, um, some horses, but a lot of bows, 603 bows and other things. So they were really very heavy bow oriented. And they have, um, you know, it was kind of an interesting, uh, interesting army, but very varied ethnic origins. Uh, some of the tribes they called them were Chehenu and Chemihu, um, and then you have your meshwesh, etc. But this is a kind of a, uh, a nomadic tribe. I mean, you could even add the Midianites and Amorites that I had into that with uh, camels and other things. It really kind of put together a very interesting looking army. But there were large numbers of these. Um, and they were also recruited into the Egyptian army. So you could use these as allies to the uh, early, middle, and even New Kingdom Egyptians. They have, so it's kind of one of those armies that's very versatile and you can use it uh, uh, back and forth for other things. But they really had, you know, they had some light shields, they had animal clo uh, cloaks, um, other things. They painted their skins with tattoos. They were mostly bearded. Some had ostrich plumes in their hair, which we see from reliefs. But anyway, I just think it's a fun army. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a fun little, little fun uh, thing to paint up and easy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching another in the series of biblical and Bronze Age armies, and uh, we'll be bringing you next some of the some of the big boys, the Hittites, the Egyptians, and the Assyrians in the next ones. Thanks. Until next time, um, the Egyptians, New Kingdom, and Hittites. Probably Mitanni and the Hikos, Canaanites, and then we'll wrap this series up. Oh, the Assyrians too, can't forget them. <laughs>